Even while Ripple CLO claims XRP fits no other category, one could wonder why it still need a legal structure. Furthermore, on-chain data shows that this month, approximately 120 million XRP have been transferred from the cryptocurrency exchange Bitstamp to a single address owned by Ripple. XRP advocates and the wider crypto community can now invest in Ripple before it goes public, as Linko has reopened the pre-IPO stock investment option. But who can get in on the pre-IPO buying of Ripples? Watch this brand new video right now if this is something that interests you. Welcome to our channel, where we discuss recent developments in the world of XRP and other cryptocurrencies. We'd like to extend a warm welcome to everybody who is checking out one of our videos for the first time. New attempts have been conducted by cybercriminals to steal money from members of the XRP community. XRP community members have reportedly been receiving phishing emails from hackers posing as Ripple Labs, as reported by a crypto investigator at Underline XRP in an online post. The phishing emails appeared to have come from an official-looking Ripple account, but the sender had nothing to do with the blockchain payment service. In the email, the bad guys make it sound like Ripple has created some kind of Ripple Net Accelerator program to increase XRP's popularity and value. The email instructed the recipients on how to access the program's benefits via their XRP Toolkit accounts. In the meantime, the hackers include the button for users to claim XRP in the body of the email. This new information warrants caution when opening links in email messages. The user risks having all of their cryptocurrency stolen if they do this, as the attackers will have complete access to their wallets. The chief legal officer of a blockchain company, however, is quite unhappy with the existing regulatory landscape for Bitcoin-related firms in the United States, his name is Stuart LDRD. Ripple has spent hundreds of millions of dollars over the past four years in its lawsuit with the SEC to clarify the regulatory status of the XRP token used throughout the company's technology stack to enable frictionless cross-border payments. Although the courts have decided in favor of XRP secondary sales, Ripple's chief legal officer CLO feels that much more is needed due to XRP not being a non-securities in the US. Aldaretti mentioned the momentous July 13 judgment that reclassified XRP as a digital token as non-securities in the US in a recent CNBC interview. XRP is unique among crypto tokens in that it is the only one with such definition. However, Ripple CLO agreed with the firm that a regulatory framework, rather than separate court battles, is what is needed to resolve the problem of how to classify cryptocurrencies in the country. He told the CNBC audience that even if we Ripple won in court, he didn't think the subject should be litigated case by case before every judge across the country. We feel a logical regulatory structure is necessary. A regulatory structure seems unnecessary. Now, Stuart Eldred went on to say in the interview that the corporation agrees with the need for extensive regulation in order for cryptocurrencies to flourish in the United States. He mentioned the European Union, EU, Australia, AU, Japan, JP, Brazil, BR, and many others as examples of places with such regulations. Ripple's top lawyer, though, worries that the United States could take years to provide such regulatory clarity. He noted that prominent officials are still working on reasonable regulatory suggestions. However, Stuart LDRD is pessimistic that these restrictions will be passed in either the current or the next Congress session. While waiting for regulatory clarification to enter the U.S. market, Ripple has continued to operate primarily outside of the U.S. Concerns of a systematic sell off engineered by the San Francisco technology firm have been heightened by this trend of consistent inflow to Bitstamp. In addition, these shifts have occurred during prolonged bearish trends for XRP. Shortly after Ripple released $1 billion from escrow in October, transactions for this month began. On October 1, the company released a total of 1 billion XRP tokens, 100 million to one wallet, 400 million to another, and 500 million to a third. The wallet that was given 100 million and 400 million tokens returned them all to the escrow. However, they shifted 300 million tokens to a new address and subsequently earned 500 million XRP. 
holding on to 200 million tokens in escrow. On October 1st, it transferred 200 million XRP to a different Ripple address. The wallet that received 200 million XRP held on to the tokens until October 9th and then sent 600 million XRP to another wallet controlled by Ripple. After a string of relocations, Ripple used the consolidated token address to transfer the majority of its tokens to Bitstamp. Before this month, when the coins were finally released from escrow, this central Ripple-controlled address already had millions of XRP. On October 2nd, one of the earliest transfers to Bitstamp sent 47.5 million XRP to the exchange's address. This month, after getting the tokens unlocked, on October 9th, an additional 42.5 million tokens were sent from the Ripple address to the same Bitstamp account. After waiting two days, it sent 23 million XRP to the same address. Earlier, a different account associated with the Ripple network sent XRP tokens to the same Bitstamp address. On October 5th, the first of these four XRP transfers to the Bitstamp address was made, bringing the total to 120,844,000 XRP, $58.1 million as of October 2nd. Notably, market participants' anxiety persists amidst rumors of an impending dump. On the other hand, these trends are hardly novel. Over the previous few years, Ripple's token transfers have remained largely unchanged. Escrow-free XRP is the primary component of these tokens. However, the company's sales strategy has negligible impact on the market. Over the course of 19 days last month, Ripple sent 506 million XRP to Bitstamp. On August 30, the firm transferred 31 million XRP. It's important to note that not all new XRP coins are immediately sold by Ripple each month. If this decision had been made, 1 billion tokens each month would have been dumped onto the market. Instead, the company sets aside almost $800 million every single month. Ripple uses this to prop up the XRP price, according to legal counsel Bill Morgan. Let's move on to the day's meat and potatoes. The chance to invest in Lingetto's pre-IPO stock in Ripple's has been reopened, but I will be disclosing who is eligible to do so. If you want to be among the first to know about any new developments with XRP, be sure to subscribe to our channel and enable push notifications. In preparation for the upcoming initial public offering of the payment processing company, Ripple stock is once again available to the cryptocurrency community and XRP enthusiasts. After the original round of sales reached capacity, remember that two days ago a high-level executive at the pre-IPO investment site Lingetto stated that the company was considering allowing prospective investors to purchase Ripple equity shares once again. And in a recent announcement, LinkedIn let the crypto community know that they can now buy shares in Ripples before the IPO. The announcement read, you can now buy Ripple shares on Linko. We're still dedicated to opening up the private market to people from all walks of life. Cryptocurrency investors who are not accredited investors now have a chance to buy Ripple shares thanks to a program created by Linko in September. The initiative caused the stock to sell quite quickly. Importantly, LinkedIn's announcement will coincide with the unwavering excitement surrounding Ripple stocks. There are a few measures one must take before purchasing Ripple shares through a platform link. Creating an account and validating it with official identity is required. The investment page will be active after registration. The minimum investment to buy into the Ripples before IPO remains at $2,500, the same as it was last month. The stock is available for $60 a share, as stated on the investment page. From the $35 saw on June 1, this represents a 71.4% rise. At the same time, the page provides a discount link for individuals willing to spend at least $10,000. More serious investors would pay $57.21 per share to acquire Ripple equity. The most convenient way to fund your link to account is with a debit card by using the Uphold Exchange, as was previously detailed. It may take up to three business days for the funds to appear in the account if you choose to make a bank transfer instead. So, who exactly can get their hands on pre-IPO shares of the Ripple's platform? 
Someone asked if the investment opportunity was limited to those in the United States in the tweet advertising the current offer. However, as of this reporting, Lingetto has not provided a direct response to any such questions. A link to those terms and conditions also implies that potential investors from countries other than the United States should investigate the investment opportunity's legality in their home jurisdiction investment possibility in a country other than the USA. Therefore, it is up to the investor to determine whether or if the link toes investment option is permissible in their home country. They don't say that the chances are only available to people in the United States, but they also don't say that anyone outside the United States can take advantage of them. To avoid any unnecessary legal complications, the company's terms and conditions state, in part, that users accessing the service from areas outside of the United States do so on their own will and are solely responsible for complying with local laws. The materials may not be used or exported in contravention of any laws or regulations of the United States. Please affirm that you enjoyed the clip. Please like and subscribe my channel. See you later, bye.